It's the time where we are at the end of the conference and we just sort of giddily talk to each other for a little bit. Yes. I feel like people actually enjoy this. I'm not sure why, but I'm ready for it. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, so, go ahead. We, we, we were comparing our tiredness to our expected tiredness. How, how are you feeling relative to what you, how tired you plan to be at this point? Um, I'm going to say fully, just pretty much there. Yeah. It's like <laughs> today was not a 12 hour day. It was more around, it's like more around 10, something like that. But I think the last five days, yeah, it's been like at that level. So I'm pretty, I, pretty, pretty tired. But I you know like what? We it was wise. so worth it. Well, yeah, it, it was it was awesome, but wise to not do four days because um, yeah, yeah, um, right. yeah. It, it was really great again, and again, I feel energized after this, even though I'm tired, which is what Flock is supposed to do. So I'm really grateful for that. Grateful for everybody's great talks and content and enthusiasm. Thank you, Marie, for all the incredibly hard work you put into this. Thank you, also Ben all your tweeting scheduling and everything and beating me to tweeting the fedora things very good yes um, shout out to our sponsors not yes to shout to out to all of our sponsors um i'm not going to list them they're listed on a page thank you sponsors but they've been tweeted as well many times but we had a cool opportunity there for the first time i think we've had media partners um folks reaching out to us to do that kind of promotion is pretty rad so uh, that was a new one, I think. If there's any media folks who saw something interesting we want to talk about more, uh, hit me up on one of the places on which I can be contacted. Also, a big thanks to the speakers, uh, everyone who presented or you know took time to share their knowledge with other folks here uh, at Nest. Thank you so much for, for spending your energy and time with us. Um, Matthew, we did have a doc, but I see that you're not in it. So I'm just going to move to Ben's section. <laughs> what? What? Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. What? Right? I, 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 you know, it I have that is. doc up somewhere here. <laughs> I, I figured it's the end session. I'll get to it somewhere along the way. And then, yeah. yeah. We were like doing a semblance of like more organization around this. And it's, it's okay. We're doing great anyway. Okay. Clearly, that was our mistake to think that we should be that we would be organized. <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of okay. organization, um, I I don't know how much people in the audience here realize how much of Nest and Flock um, basically happens with uh, bailing wire and chewing gum. And uh, <laughs> while she had a ton of help from a lot of people. Uh, Marie is our bailing wire and chewing gum, and we cannot thank her enough for for doing that. I feel useful, flattered. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a very weird compliment, but it is a compliment. I'll take it. Um, I'm taking it. <laughs> I, I do want to throw out a couple of reminders to people, since I have the attention of at least 32 of us right now. Um, a reminder to follow the Fedora Community blog. Um, that's where you can keep up with announcements and things from the council and other information around the project. And there are uh, weekly Fridays Fedora facts that give a quick overview of important things that have happened and are coming up. Thank um, you, Ben, for doing that, because that's an amazing thing for keeping things organized. It's nice if you are trying to keep up with a hectic week and you can see what's going on. And that's um, I, I, I know from experience, it's hard to week. do those. It's hard to do <laughs> those routinely. So um yeah thanks for that uh, i also have office hours uh on wednesdays uh once in the morning once in the afternoon u.s time um you can get the time the exact times for those in the community blog um, but that's a good time for the 22 of you who said that you haven't shared a meeting but you want to try uh, i'd be happy to give you some uh some tips and I actually have a training video that i made a week or two ago that i can share more broadly so that will come soon um, but because I like numbers, I was looking through our polls and 55.6% uh, of us are correct that pineapple is an acceptable pizza topping, uh, or at least preferable to uh, the shards of glass. The shards um, of glass came in disturbingly high on that poll. I... 
you know, if if you make the shard spine enough, it basically becomes sand, which is not good, but is a lot less um, awful than like larger shards of glass. So, uh, yeah. I think this um, is really also... a reflection of the humor of our community <laughs> and the distaste <laughs> for pineapple that people have yeah. deeply seated. Uh, speaking of the humor of our community, um, there are eight of me this year at Nest, which is an increase. Uh, so I think we started with Nest last year, but now like at the the release parties and all that, we always ask, how familiar, familiar are you with the Fedora changes process? And one of the answers is, I am Ben Cotton. And uh, every time we do that, there are more of me. So... I'm not sure how to feel about that, but you know, it's whatever. A, we could we could definitely use more Ben Cotton, so I think it's a good trend. Excellent. Uh, and the last thing I want I had written down on the doc because I used the doc um, is that 15% of people who responded said they are not involved in Fedora but would like to be. Um, and since you know, typically this is a uh, you know this has been sort of a contributor conference, especially in the in-person form. Uh, I think it's really great that we're able to get people who want to be contributors but aren't yet. And so I would definitely um, say contact the Fedora Join SIG. We'd love to have you contributing in whatever way that uh, you're able to and interested in. There is always uh, more work to go around in Fedora. So we never have enough people to help out and be a part of our community. And that's all of my notes. So I guess it's Marie's turn now. It is my turn. So before I go on to mine, though, we have the blessing of the FPL. We have cake with the F cake, right? So I'm gonna propose an I am Ben Cotton badge <laughs> that Ben gets to award as he sees fit. And it's a cartoon, or maybe it's like a, a, a panda that's benefied. And then there's like a bunch of them behind him. So it's like, you know, Ben, but then like the clones oh. of Ben. Okay, people like this idea. I like that idea. I was thinking it could also be a multi-armed god version of the panda. <laughs> um. Nice. Well, we have this I am Ben Cotton clone thing. It's just, I think it's the clone one is really good. Oh, right. uh, but either way, we got to get Ben a badge. We are just talking about this. So I think that's going to be it. All right. So here's my notes. Uh, just want to let people know that the video recordings are going to be edited and should be up on YouTube at some point in September. Let's hope for the beginning of September, but we know how these things go. So have patience with us. And once they're available, we'll advertise that on the Fedora Twitter and the community blog and probably drop it around in September of this year, Ben. <laughs> um, we'll drop it around in a couple channels as well. So when you see that link, make sure to share it with your Fedora networks. Um, this was something that we didn't really think about in advance, but speakers, if you'd like to add your slides to the schedule, the wiki page, that would be great. We can add them to the YouTube sessions um, once they go up. And if not, it's, it's all good. Um, next is swag packs. So I definitely saw some questions around the swag packs. Um, the information for that came through your email at the beginning of the event. Now we've had a lot of people uh, register since then. So I'm actually gonna press send right now. And there it went. Um, uh, uh, just a reminder on the swag and for everyone who registered after the beginning of the event, the code and the link is in there. Please expect four to eight weeks before you get your swag back. We are coordinating a lot of pieces there Stuff from our sponsors, our old fulfillment center, our new place. We have new things being printed, and then all of that has to get put together in a box. So have some patience on that. If you don't see your shipment after the allotted amount of time or you're having issues with the order, um, there is a contact us form on the Cool Stuff store. So that's through the same website you place the order with. So that is it on Swag, and I'm super excited for folks to get them. Um, share what? No, please do not share the, the link for the swag outside of this conference. As much as it's great to get swag out there, um, we want to have this for our Fedora contributors and any leftovers we have will be used at a future date. So 
Are, are the um, codes individualized in those messages? It was unclear. Yeah, we left it unclear for a reason. All right. <laughs> just, <laughs> well, I just want to tell people, like, if it is something that can be reused, oh, like, please, please don't share it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You can share the videos. Absolutely. Um, when the videos come up, please. Uh, and there's plenty of, I think there's open, there's a couple open SUSE talks. So definitely want to share those. Um, all right. So from the polls, there's a little bit here. An interesting little thing to note is uh, we polled, was this your first Nest event? And 43% said yes. So that is awesome to see. Um, as we were mentioning earlier, we had, and I was talking about this for months with Matthew and Ben, like how many people were going to get there? We've been seeing an increase. And um, we had 910 attendees, people registered. That's amazing. That is amazing. And we had an even more awesome number, 81% turnout, which is well above like the average for virtual <laughs> event turnouts. So, I mean, like I could just not be more thrilled with this. What were the numbers last year? We had 496 registrations and we had about 375 folks show up. I think it was like a 70 one or two percent turnout those somewhere around there so, so we twice twice as many people because yeah that's almost yep. exactly twice as many people showing up so that's amazing yes uh so we could i mean i think we put a lot more effort into promotion maybe but we've also seen um some momentum going on with these virtual events mm -hmm. and if you've been to them you've heard me talk about how well they're going and this is just another example of that so I was really worried that people would be tired of it and we'd have like, I don't know, a third of the people from last year. So uh, thank right. you for, for proving my pessimism wrong, uh, Fedora community. You always come through like on these things. I like that you see it as pessimism. That was my anxiety. Like, oh my gosh, what if the event sucks and nobody shows up? You know, like those are like the, the worst fears that your brain puts in, but you're like, I'm pessimistic. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> Um, but I yes. mean, anxiety and pessimism have, you know, they're cousins. They're friends. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was a little worried about that too. Everyone's been kind of expressing that burnout, a little bit of virtual fatigue, and it's been like conference after conference. Kushal's not exhausted. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, I guess that the last thing that I really want to say is that you know I can do the work to set up platforms and work adventures and the socials and the schedules and everything all of that can happen but it isn't really amazing or awesome until the fedora community shows up um like y'all are the ones making the chat fun and uh interacting with us on the polls and interacting with all the speakers and asking interesting questions and having the fun time that we've had so I just want to thank everybody for attending and for making the event what it was. I want to say exactly what Marie said because she said it so nicely. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> thank so, you, everybody. Yeah, that's all I really have. I don't know if we want to just like hang and look at the polls. I didn't. I didn't do too much on the polls this time. I left that to you guys. I should have done the colorblind one right after my talk. Um, for the new stats, I'm using a, a Fedora, uh, a colorblind friendly version of the Fedora palette that Mo Duffy came up with for me that hopefully is in, or when he what I need up to 16 colors for some of the charts. So that's really hard to make work for all the different kinds of colorblindness, but um, we try to optimize it towards the more frequent colors to be more distinct. Um, but the older charts are still not in that palette, so I will go back and recolorize them for next time. So hopefully that will help the person who said that that was pretty bad. Um, and I'm going to try and also make sure I make in for all that information available in text as well, so you can see it in a different format. Yeah, we had some performance issues with Hopin this time around, and we did let them know. Um, I think it had to do with you know double the registrations but even then like this platform yeah, it, is supposed to handle like thousands of people so i don't it know shouldn't be setting my computer on fire um that's that's the job of the mozilla hubs vr environment 
uh, someone said like this platform's awesome. And I agree. I actually don't have a lot of problems with it, but like I use just workstation. <laughs> I'm like kind of convinced that everyone's super customized, like laptop My setups. No? Okay. No, mine's also just plain. Um, okay. And I think that was also probably the problem that Kimla was having because that all right. that like your audio is slaggy and everything. That's just was that was caused by that. Right. And, Hmm. Well, I'm not sure, you know, how long we're going to be doing this virtual thing, but uh, we'll let Hoffman know, you know, how it went. We'll give them feedback and hopefully uh, it can be improved for the next time around. A plurality of people chose my keynote as their favorite, which is very flattering because those other keynotes were amazing. Um, so uh, Maybe you missed them. I don't know. Go, go. Uh, but anyways, thank you. Uh, and I, I really, I really did find those great. I was, I was a little bit worried about the giving and receiving feedback one because I, I haven't had seen her talk before or anything. And I was like, oh, is this going to be crucial conversations or whatever? But it was a nice, it was really a nice, like, um, practical individual oriented thing rather than the normal like how to be a manager version of that talk um so i thought that was that was i also really thought good. it was a nice follow-up on leslie's uh talk from the day before because it was kind of in the same vein almost uh leslie had kind of a little bit more of like an emotional approach to it which was great and then i felt like chelsea had some really practical um ways to like negotiate and talk with people which is you know that feedback thing right so anyway uh i thought that was a cool second one to to follow on to leslie's too it's almost like you put a lot of thought into the keynote selection <laughs> maybe <laughs> um but yeah i really enjoyed both of those as well i'm curious did jocelyn uh the outreach intern you're mentoring did her work get into your keynote she she, uh, most of the stuff is still a prototype phase there so not yet gotcha. she really she really uh, like she came to that internship with a very ambitious plan and i told her from the beginning you are unlikely to get this done and that's going to be okay um and that's i i think she's a little bit disappointed but she shouldn't be because she's put in good work and gotten it really very far along um she so. sent me her her app or her proposal and i was like this is like a 10 page proposal oh this yeah, is amazing. It's, yeah it was very very amazing um, <laughs> like, so, i was like and, i've never seen this from an outreach intern like wow yeah, yeah. um knocked it out of the park so it was cool all right uh, what uh, else if anybody's here? looking to hire an awesome, promising uh, software engineer, uh, you know, let, let us know. We we know some. Uh, the other intern presentations were really nice as well. We have a good good batch of interns this time around. Uh, oh, we can uh, we can mention here the work adventure. So, um, did people enjoy it? I feel like I just got like positive feedback on it. I, didn't even really hear too much of a complaint on that one. Um, but definitely want to talk about that a little bit. We we're going to, uh, there's a link if anybody here didn't get a chance to see it, but I think we should scrub the logos out and just use them all the time. So why not? Oh, the, 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 the sponsor, sponsor logos. logos and like, we block. could, we we could put, put your filler. logo here. Um, give us money on those. Uh, yeah. uh, well, no, we could put more fedora art on the back. That's we could true. put badges or something like that. So we could we could just unnestify it and then like use it use it again uh, in the future. I'm really excited about that, and I hope people had a good time. There's actually a feedback ticket, so if you would like to give any feedback, I'm just grabbing that link. Like, um, so yeah, if you want to leave any feedback about the work adventure improvements, um, and even just compliments, like we think this is awesome, we'd love to hear that too. So uh, yeah, there's a spot for that as well. And yes, so we tried to link the Open Sousa bar uh, into the work adventure map, but the problem with that was the Open Sousa bar is on a private server, as far as I understand it and we can only access public Jitsi rooms. So if someone knows how to work around that, 
uh, that would be the way to make that happen. Um, but maybe once we're on our own matrix, I maybe? think when we're on our, our own, yes, we're not going to have private rooms on our matrix, I don't think. So we'll see how that goes. Unless we end up being a mat moderation trash fire of some sort. We'll... <laughs> yeah, someone was talking about a Fedora project dot org slash bar. <laughs> I think it was Miro. And I already had a meeting with uh, my events support, um, but it is going to be based on the state of the world. And I think we have to kind of make a concrete decision by that uh, by early spring if we're going to be in person. So that's something to look out for, but we hope to do this. I saw um, and that was one of the early polls they did. and. 75% of people would prefer to have some sort of in-person thing. A quarter of people uh, wanted remote. Uh, more specifically, half of people wanted it in person. And um, a quarter, uh, you know, about a third of people wanted a hybrid event. But interestingly, 25% um, of people said they prefer a hybrid event, but they will be that would want to be there in person for it. Uh, so I think a lot of people are interested in, in the connections and supporting, but are also really looking forward mm -hmm. to well, I think we can't go back. It's going to be hybrid. Um, what that hybrid factor looks like, uh, still a little bit up in the air. Definitely different thoughts about that. And uh, my colleagues in Red Hat and the Open Source Program Office, we're all kind of facing that problem together so we can learn from each other on that stuff um, and hopefully create something that's engaging for people virtually as well, because we don't want it to be a, I'm sitting at home and everyone's there moment, a FOMO moment. Right. Um, we want it to be a, a good experience and you know, just as engaging, hopefully, as this event. <laughs> I'm for it. I think I think we can make it work, but it, I think that it's also going to be a lot more work for us. So I hope that we get some good support from Red Hat events. Um, uh, the first like kind like of thing that Jen and I were talking about was like, is this like, how much work is this? <laughs> this needs to be like humane for our organizers. Like, right. <laughs> so I don't know um, what that means. Maybe we need more event people. Uh, you know, now more event volunteers. More, yeah. more Red Hat support, both, I think, would be is going to be necessary. So I think we're, there are things like, you know, in, in person, it's really easy to just be like, oh, we're five minutes over or whatever, and then we're starting late, and everybody knows because you can see. And when you're doing that in the virtual thing, you've got to coordinate the virtual. Like, there's got to be somebody on top of that all the time. And uh, I don't know. So I have a couple ideas. My one idea is like okay. um, a local watch party. So, you know, we have communities and like large communities in like uh, Brno and a couple different of the cities in India, and, um, Latin America. I mean, we have large communities all over the place. So providing funding and resources for those local communities to hold watch parties where they have like, the recordings or even while it's happening. Uh, obviously it, it would differ from time zone to time zone, but um, that would be a way to bring people together locally, which would be easier than trying to bring people all in together. But um, I don't know if people will go for that. So I guess Mindshare's got to talk about that too and, and see what's going to be interesting for folks and, and doable and affordable. That's all important factors there. <sighs> it might be nap time. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. I, I I feel a little sad signing off, but I think it might be time. Yeah. All right, folks. Had an amazing time. Oh, 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 wait, actually, yeah, there's no nap oh. time yet. I have a half oh, yeah. an hour to hang out in the social. Oh, I'm going to okay. do that. All right, so <laughs> social hour and then sleep. It's a half an hour, but yeah, we'll hang out over there in the work adventure for a minute. So I'll drop yeah. that link one more time and meet everybody over there. 
Bye. Stay safe, everyone.